I'm at a gypsy. But I'll come. I'll make a comment on one of the last ones that Ryan was saying because you know they were talking about does Jet let Chase go so he can see what he's doing? Yeah. And then Ryan brought up the Millville. Millville. Yeah. So at that race, I mean that that year it was like Ryan went one two every weekend. That was going to be my next. I was like, we can't finish this podcast without talking about two thousand because <laughs> that was psycho. <laughs> Yeah. So well, was then it 07 or I? It was 07. 07, sorry. And if if you look at if you watch videos of Ryan in 06, there's no way he would have competed with Ben and You think? No. Not even he wasn't even close. But by the time after he won that title and then he won the Supergrass title in 07 the next Just year. He was a different dude. And he was a different dude. He was ready like he was more poised on the bike like confidence was there, speed was there. Um, and in the beginning of the season, so a perfect thing, like, so my business was, is second moto fitness because my, like my tagline is like, anybody can do one. Mm. Right. So we go to Hangtown, 07, Ryan wins the first moto, Ben wins the second moto. I'm walking through the airport. We flew home Saturday night. Emig walks up and he's like, what's up second moto fitness. And I'm like, Talk to me at Glen Helen. Yeah. You know, this was the first race and he's already busting my balls. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, uh, and then I hear, you know, there's, there's interviews and this and that. It's like, we work hard on everybody. Like this is like the whole Ricky crew in Florida. Like we work hard on everybody. Nobody can compete with us. Like we're doing this, we're doing that. And then I did one and I'm like, it's going to be a long season. You're going to have to deal with missed bags, missed flights, bad hotels rent a cars like yeah. there's a lot of things to deal with over yeah, 12 rounds just the 24, track. it's not just the track yeah like how are you going to deal with all that and it just kept continuing to be the same thing it was like one two one two one two one two and ryan actually went on a little bit of a stretch for a minute ben had a couple of issues and uh ryan Ryan's radiator hose or something broke at Unadilla that year. Mm. Maybe it was the first year. I think it was that year. And he lost, he had like a 22 point lead and, and left that race three points down or something. Yep. 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 And then it ended up being that three point gap for a while. So rolling to Millville. And after practice, Ryan was like in the top of the truck. Literally looked like he was ready to quit. Like, I can't do this anymore. Like that type of a deal. It was like, come to Jesus moment. Like, okay, what are we doing here? I'm like, all right, you're not a weekend warrior. This is your job. Cause he had a bad practice. Mm. I'm like, you're here to do a job, do your job or quit. You know how to do the job. So just do it. it you got, you're a kid, but this is a position you're in. Handle your business. So he won the first moto. No, he, he did not win the first moto. So we talked about all the races that had, that we've had. And uh, I'm like, if, if it's at that point, like early, like six, eight minutes into the race, if he's on you and you're not feeling comfortable, let him go and watch what he's doing. You can do whatever you want to do. The same thing I told Jake in Vegas, you can do whatever you want on your dirt bike. Let him go and follow him. And then the pressure's on him. He waited until 23, 24 minutes into the race, moves over, let him go, and Ben just checked out. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> that was not the plan. That was not the plan. It's supposed to be like after like three laps, maybe. And uh, But he went out and he won the second moto. He passed him in that lock bottom thing and then just... Whoosh. But Ben, after the first moto, you could tell he was pretty vapored. Yeah, really. He was, we were on the podium and, and you could tell that moto took a lot out of him yeah and it was uh it started coming down to it and we were we we're getting ready for texas which was always hot as fuck. which was hot and uh and he's from the southern hemisphere like way down in the yeah. cold and so. maybe we started uh maybe it was right after millville because ryan won the overall and i think we had still city next and uh it was like three races left still city texas glen helen and we went home and he only rode twice that week. 
And Danny was losing his mind. And I'm like, we got this for life. I'm like, let Ben go back to Florida Beat and do 18 to motos yeah, yeah, this yeah. week in the 105, or what, you know, humidity or whatever. Let show up recovered. And that weekend was the Austin Troop that you've talked about. Yeah, 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 yeah. When like, he just come in and yard sailed everybody. Blew everybody yeah. out. But if you, so Ryan and, Dun, and uh, Townley got up. Yeah. And they were very similar. Yeah. Once they got up going. RV went. And RV just went. You know, and that kind of was when it put a little bit that of a ding. That was a bit of a turning point. A, a bit of a, a, of a ding in what Ben was doing. And then we went to Texas the next weekend. And uh, I was standing with an old friend of mine. Um, we call him Iron. Yeah. He uh, he did like champion nutrition, Cytomax stuff way oh, back. Oh, I remember, yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm going to piss real quick yeah, before we finish the story. Sorry. So we were... Uh, so you're standing there with the guy. Yeah, so we were we were in Texas and first moto and uh we'd we'd really taken a break during the weeks at this point. Yeah. And Danny wasn't happy. And uh leading up to Texas, we were at Glen Helen and uh we did went out for a moto and Metcalf was riding good that day. Yeah. And Danny was just freaking out thinking Metcalf's winning this weekend. Like Ryan's off. He don't have it. Like he's losing. And then went out the next moto and Dungey was on it. Ugh. So I'm like, well, you need to tell me who's going to win. Is, is Dungey or Metcalf going to win this weekend? You know, so that was just kind of a, like on the way back to the truck. Cause uh, I knew, I mean, Ryan put in the work, like he knew what to do with the races. Like I wasn't stressed about it. And uh, I knew he was rested. So we go to Texas and, uh, I believe Ryan was leading and Townley started maybe fifth or sixth, but was coming through, obviously, like making moves. And uh, I was standing with Jeff and I'm like, set your timer for 12 minutes. And literally at 12 minutes, the corner right in front of us, Townley's front wheel popped out of the rut. And I looked at Jeff and I said, he's done. Crazy, dude. It was nuts. Like, Ryan went 1-1 that day, ended up with a 19-point lead after that race. I think Townley got a sixth in one of the motos that yeah. day. And then we go to Glen Helen for the last race, and uh, I think Ryan won the first moto. And so I had a 21-point lead, and we're sitting in the truck, and Ryan's like, what do I do? And I'm like, well, you're here to win. So do that. But if he's on you and it's like gnarly, let him go. And they raced, they raced pretty hard for, you know, four or five laps. And then Ryan just sat up and yeah. cruised it in. <clears throat> Obviously won the title. And it was almost like it was meant to be. I was walking to the podium and guess who pops up off the side of the track? Hey. Emig. Really? And, they, and I'm like, yeah. second moto fitness, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> From the first race to that, literally, like, it couldn't have worked out more perfect. Yeah. That and, was uh, that was the, probably it was the amazing. Best, best motocross season of all time. It was amazing. It was, there were so many ups and downs, like, during the week and, you know, whatevers. And, I mean, tell me had issues at Red Bud, um, like, with the stomach or something like that, and you didn't really know what was going to happen. And then, uh, Ryan won the first moto at red bud and walked off the podium and was literally like, I can't ride again. Like I'm done. Really? Like he was just cooked, exhausted, exhausted. And I'm like, you put in the work, you have the base, you'll recover. He was one, one that day, but Townley did have some, some issues that day. Um, I think he went to the hospital the day before after practice or something. Cause he had some stomach, something weird but i'd go in the so i'd go in we were in grandma and grandpa's motorhome staying at the races you know those first couple of years and i come out of the shower and there's like reese's peanut butter cup wrappers all over the table and ryan looking at me just laughing <laughs> i'm like what are you doing that's so like, good <laughs> he'd just be laughing at me him and his cousin just laughing at me and i came in between motos at one of the races 
come in, make a sandwich, set his drinks out, like all that stuff, and then go back over to the truck, you know, talk to the mechanic or whatever, and come back, and he's sitting there with this big thing of, like, cheese balls, like the cheese puffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just eating those, sandwich and drinks still on the table. Just, <laughs> like, you got another moto. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> That's so <laughs> And I'm good. like, yell at him and just leave. Like, walk out of the motor home like, you're an idiot. That's so good. And him and his cousin laughing at me. What was the vibe between him and Townley like? Um, anything that I saw was fine. Like, and it, it must have been fine because, like, that year, it, it might have been just after the season. For my birthday, we did a century ride. Mm. And Ben came with, we had, like, 25 people. Sick. All did a century. And, uh, well, there was, there was like, you either did half or you did the full. Ryan did half. Townley did the full. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> but, um, no, I think it was good. Um, obviously, there, there was the, the competitiveness. You know, they didn't want the other one to win. But there was never a blowout. There was never, like, the John Michelle Bell, Jeff Stanton, mm. you know, throwing stuff at each other and whatever. Um which is pretty impressive in itself. It was awesome because uh, the mechanics handled it well. The team handled it well. Mitch handled it well. Um, I feel like between me and Alden, we handled it really well. Um, there was really no no animosity, no, like, there was nothing. Like, it was just, they were just, they're racing. They had a race. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was cool. It was yeah. never like James and Chad. Yeah. It, you, there was never that. Yeah. You know? Um. Yeah, but they did fly to separate coasts. Yeah, you go true. to your room. You go to your room yeah, for a week, yeah, and then yeah. we'll come back. Yeah, you know, give you that you know five days to cool off. So, but it was tough. Like it was, man. You put your heart and soul into it, and leave the next weekend three points down again. Yeah, you know, it was just even, it was even, 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 even. Dude, you know. And then Townley's getting the overall, so he's getting the bonuses. Getting the cash, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> and the wins. Like, yeah. you know, Ryan would have had probably, you know, I mean, I think Ben got seven of them that year. Yeah. And Ryan got five, and Josh Grant got one. We are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.